hello so let's continue with another set of selectors that's called as content filters so here we have four content filters empty parent has and contains now this is another way of selecting some elements over here so empty and parent are opposite of each other what exactly they do is basically it says selector selects all elements that have no children including text node so what exactly it means by children basically when we have our html tags like ol is this tag now this has some elements within it direct elements fine so these direct elements list items are the children of this ordered list and this ordered list is a child of paragraph fine these won't be considered as child of paragraph they will be considered as grandchildrens and so on similarly if we talk about ol this bold tag over here without anything will be considered as a grandchild fine though we don't use the grandchild term directly but for a reference this is to understand now here our statement also said that empty so this is considered as empty fine and this is a element now the text within an element is called as a text node that's the reference including text nodes fine so here this element has a child element so it will not be considered empty and these elements are having no other child elements but they have a text node so they are not considered empty with respect to the concept of this empty content filter fine now let's have a look at this so what we have here is i have my list for this example i have kept all of them in the same code so we have a list ordered list over here and here in the ordered list we want to select the empty element fine so over here the first set of example is associated with this button et with id et so on click what we are going to do is update the css but the css will be updated of the list item elements which are empty basically which should, we do not have any text or any other child element so let's look at this so when i click on this you will see this one is selected though visibly this is also empty but it has a bold tag over here so this will not be considered empty fine so this is the first one about the empty selector selector selects all elements that have no children fine so like if i increase one of these as more over here these two will be considered as empty elements let's try it again so now you can see these two are empty elements now parent parent selector select all elements that have at least one child node either an empty or text so let's see what it does here i have set li parent and change the css so let's see what effect does it takes when i say li parent we had selected for the empty so how it works let's have a look at this so we know that this one is empty and this one is empty 3 and 5 are empty so when we click on this barring 3 5 fine all the other child elements within the same parent are getting selected so this is kind of opposite of empty in case of empty we were selecting the list items within a parent which were empty fine now the word is weird over here but here it is trying to say that select all the list items fine which are not empty okay opposite of empty you can say within the same parent so this is how it is working so when i had clicked on this my empty demo here it selects 3 and 5 fine within the same list element or within the same pa parent and here when i clicked on this within the same parent it has selected all the elements which are not empty fine with the same concept which does not have anything or which does not have a text node so this is basically our empty and parent now let's move to the next one has 
has selector will select element that contain at least one element that is matched with the specified selector now this has is basically talking about another element that should be present for the given one so let's have a look at our code what we have written for code here this one is associated with another button hs id1 and here we are saying paragraph has bold fine so first let's look at our paragraph so i have three paragraphs over here so the first paragraph does not have a bold tag the second paragraph does have a bold tag over here and third paragraph also has a bold tag so basically what we are trying to say is paragraphs which have bold tag should get selected so these paragraphs are getting selected fine so you could specify for any other tag and then it can work for that also so basically has is talking about a element that has another sub element which is specified so that element can be selected and some work can be done on that and finally we have the last one which is contains selector selects all the elements that contains a specified text now here we can search for text like we can search for this we can search for indica so this is kind of a search and select that one now any of these elements which will have this specified keyword or text will be selected the only point to remember is that it is case sensitive so for the last one what we have done is we have we are saying paragraph contains fruit and we are changing the border to magenta color over here so let's see the contains demo and here when i click so here here we have the fruit and here also we have the fruit and interestingly in the guavas one the fruit term has not come up fine so it does not get selected fine if we try to change it to let's say from and let's see what happens so paragraphs which has the text from should get selected and these two paragraphs have the text from so here in this paragraph there is no from now what happens if we change the case sensitivity let's try this again and now nothing is working because it is case sensitive and capital f r o m is not there so this is basically talking about how we can select something that contains a text something that contains a specified paragraph select empty elements fine within the same parent and here select all non empty elements okay so that's a demonstration about the selector type content filters empty parent has and contains and this is the code we used over here okay so thanks for watching